<clears throat> Got my coffee. Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. About a year or so ago, I did this painting. It's called White Tree by Water's Edge. And it's oil on board and it's already framed. And it's been sitting on my, my wall over here. And something that's been bugging me for quite some time. Uh, oh, I should say that I made it up from scratch. I, I literally drew some squiggles here that became the composition. <clears throat> so I was looking at, I wasn't looking at any reference material and I think it really shows, um, especially because of the water. The problem with the water, I think, is it's innately ugly because it kind of looks like um, something uh, that might remind you of trip, trip of, tripophobia. Uh, <clears throat> tripophobia is people have a fear of a certain kind of pattern that looks like a disease. It looks like these circles. And so I think that this kind of pattern down here, which I totally made up as I went, I mean, it's meant to be like some sort of abstracted reflections of above, <clears throat> but it makes, it looks like tryptophobia to some degree. And so I think that's why it's ugly. So, um, <laughs> Tim, thanks, man. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change the, the water. I also might go in here. I really like some of the details. So let me just zoom in so you can see what I mean. <clears throat> let me zoom in and show you, oops, like some of that, some of those brush strokes are, are, are pretty cool. I like it. I, I'm going to add more. Um, I like my idea where I sort of add a Van Gogh kind of background. Um, maybe I might add some details there. But it's really this water down here, which just isn't working. And I've been wanting to update that for quite some time. So I've already got it mounted on my uh, easel. And um, I put like down some paper towel, so it's not gonna get any paint on the easel. But what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna put some frog tape, which is just like masking painter's tape, um, around the frame. Because getting stuff framed is uh, it's not cheap, man. I mean, this frame is, is, is custom. All my frames are custom made. You know, I probably, I'm going to say this was like three or 400 bucks just for the framing. And that was even kind of a deal to some degree. Um, I really like the frame maker I go to. It's a white floating frame. And in a second, after I just get this taped down a bit, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, basically, a floating frame is when you've got a gap. There's a, there's a little gap between the, uh, the board, which typically is what you would frame with a floating frame, and then the, the frame itself. So it's got like a, I think a half inch border with about almost a half inch gap, typically. And it makes it look kind of contemporary and nice, clean lines, which I like. So what I'm doing now is I'm now I'm poking it so it'll go on the inside of the frame a bit. I need a second layer of tape. <clears throat> so my second layer of tape is going to go a bit more on the inside. Just because uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's a serious pain in the butt. Um, if you get paint after it's been framed on the inside of a floating frame, the only your only recourse really is to paint over it with um, like white or gesso. And the problem with that is you'll see the texture a little bit. Like it, it just makes it's it's just makes it look kind of shitty. That's the bottom line. So you got to be really careful. Uh, and I don't often do this. I don't often go back to a painting that I've already framed to redo it. But um, I knew when I first did this that there was something was awkward about this part. Well, I might actually come back up here and do some more work. So why don't I go ahead and tape out the rest of it. Um, I think this, this particular painter's tape, I like, pretty sure it's called frog tape. Um, but 
you know, any painter's tape will do. How this is different from regular paint is that it's very easy to remove. Like it's sticky enough to adhere to surfaces, but when you pull it off, it just comes off very nicely. And it's also strong. So don't get regular tape if you need to do any taping. Make sure you get painter's tape. Um, you'll save yourself a lot of hassles. I'm actually looking forward to going and adding more stuff up here. Um, yesterday I, I redid another painting that was also framed and I really liked the patterns. I had a really good time going in and, and adding more shapes and stuff. So I'm probably going to go and do that too. So just for a sense of perspective, this is a, the, the board itself is uh, two feet, one, two, two by, I think it's two by four. Yeah, yeah, it's a two by four board. And uh, there you go. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty, that's good enough. Okay, so it's already raised up quite, a, quite high. Let me get my coffee. Holy shit. I'm sorry, dude, or people. I forgot to move the camera. I was actually taping it way up there the whole time. All right, so I'm going to remain focused down on this area here because that's where I'm going to be doing the most changes. Now, the question is what to do. What to do, what to do. Um... I'm thinking this, here's what I'm thinking. There should be a reflection of these general shapes in the water, but I think they should come across more horizontally, not this goofy brain pattern, which I was just screwing around with, you know. And I think um, maybe I'll even have little little brush strokes, so maybe I'll try big ones and little ones, and see. and I also think the the blue. I might go from like a purple to a blue to a light blue which will contrast with the brown of the rocks so you probably won't see um you only see a little bit of the white probably around here where which is the sky i think originally my idea was this was the sky but i don't know i was just fucking making it up okay uh by the way i got to look way over here to read comments so i can't always read the comments but it says here uh gertie says beautiful gran maestro Italiano, io no palo italiano. That's about as, that's about as good as I can do, man, for my Italian friend. Uh, I learned Italian. I, I went to Italy, I think, twice. I love Italy. Oh, you know what I did? I spent a summer in art school when I was 17 in Siena. That was awesome. It was me and two guys, and I kid you not, but 25 pretty much gorgeous girls, and stupid me had a girlfriend at the time who I was absolutely faithful to. In Italy, in Siena, like the one of the most romantic places in the world, and back then I was I was good looking. Now I'm just like, you know, a middle-aged tubby guy, who knows what. But I was actually in pretty good shape. And I was faithful. So stupid. Okay, all right. What the hell am I gonna do here? You don't need to look at me. I think that's pretty good. Okay. I got some colors here. I got some brushes. I'm gonna start with here are my three potential brushes. Long thin one, short stubby one, and a much smaller one. I'm gonna go with the middle one, this, this one right here, just because I like this guy. And I just pour it, put some paint on my palette. What it is, I've got kind of like a, an ultramarine sort of purple, a blue and a lighter blue, and I've got one, two, three, four splotches of, of white so I can mix and uh, make some variety. So let's just see what this one looks like when I add a little white. It's actually, that's actually a blue, but it's a beautiful blue. So I think this beautiful blue, 
Oh, maybe I'll try coming even closer. Like I'm really gonna mess this thing up. Like I, I don't. Oh, I know what I should do. First, let's map out where the tree is gonna be. Okay, so let's just say that. Okay, I got, okay. This shape here is probably gonna. Wait, it's probably gonna kind of come out here, and then it's gonna come out. I'll make yeah. So that'll be. This will be where the tree is. This blue line here. So this whole area should have lots of green in it with kind of blues that go across. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What I just, damn it, because I'm so close. What I just was, here's what I'm thinking. Um, this line, this line here, you see that, is going to represent the curve of this tree. So all this should have greens and blues, like ref reflecting this. And then around here, oh, I have some browns already. I should um, map out where the uh, this land, this weird kind of colored land would be. So it kind of comes, goes in, comes out. Oh, I might have fucked this up a bit. Right, whatever. So this is this will be where the this is this will be the um my English new no not working. This is where the uh, land, and then there's going to be some yellow for the hills. Oh, I forgot about this mountain. Right, so this mountain, this chunk will come here, and then the tree. So maybe maybe I should have started this lower. Yeah, it looks like. If here's the tree, the green should start maybe down here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so the green is going to start lower, and then this is going to be white. This area here is going to be the sky. Does that makes sense? Makes sense to me. Now the trick is going to be how do I make this thing look nice? I'm not quite sure what style I'm going with. I really like those patterns. Hmm. Having a drink of coffee. There we go. Okay. Oh, here's some purples. Definitely, I'm gonna put a, an actual pur purple here. Oh, there's two purples. Is this another purple? Yes, a little purple. Okay, so. I won't do too much purple, but there should be something like down here, maybe even darker. I don't know if anyone notices, but I can't write at all. My signature sucks. It's like, like a child's writing, but that's just the way I do it. Okay, so let's just say there's purple here. I don't know if you guys can see this okay. Let me move in. There we go. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Oh, I know. I'll take a second brush and then paint in where the sky kind of is. So I guess what I'm doing right now um, is I've decided to sort of just do this on the fly. On the fly means just as you, as, as it happens. Oops, I have too much purple in there. It's okay. Um, this paintbrush is no good now. Yeah, I'm kind of hesitating a bunch of time. Anyway, okay, so I really need greens too. So let's make some green. It just so happens I have. Hey, Giselle. Okay, so it just so happens I have some blue and some yellows. So I'm going to, ew, it's kind of a gross green, isn't it? But what the hell, let's just put it in there. Let's just see what happens. Okay. 
because I can always layer it up. And there's not much of it anyhow. I guess what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like now rebuild the composition of the bottom. It's going to be more of a reflection. Oops. So if I have some green, I'm going to, I guess I've got to replicate the greens I created at the top too, because they're kind of subtle. Let me just add some green to my, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm adding green. I have a little station over here. I have a little painting station over here, down here, where I have some paints. And I've got another painting station over here where I've got a ton more paints. You can't, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's probably a good 50 over there. And I keep the ones I'm, I'm currently working on, sort of like my selected group over here. And I need more space, to be honest, but what the hell. Okay. Maybe I'll move it back so you can see it better. Okay. What was I doing? Oh yeah, making greens. So I need some some yellow. Because I'm not convinced that's the right green. I mean I'll try it out. I'll take that green by itself and just mix it up on my palette just to get a flavor for it. It's not bad. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's not bad. It's a, it's a little bit too minty, so I'm gonna add some yellow to it, and that'll and, and some white, and that'll warm it up. What a bit different! It makes a huge difference. I'm not afraid of the. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of of the minty green that comes out of this particular one. It just uh, looks too much like food coloring. The color. Okay, so whatever. I'm just adding some fucking brush strokes to this. Okay. Oh no, I screwed this up, didn't I? This is, wait a second. Did I screw this up? Here's the sky. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. All right, that's fine. Cause the size is about the same. Just feel like it. I feel like going up. I feel like ignoring that problem area for now and just feel like so. This is actually pretty high up. Let me raise the. Come on, there we go. And bring this down. Okay, so maybe you can see how I'm gonna freshen up this stuff. Unfortunately, I don't, I'd have to lower the whole canvas down for you to see it better. But I'm just going to go in here with some gentle brush strokes. Um, and what I'm doing is I noticed the paint. This is probably why I don't like it as much. My, some of my earlier ones is the paint isn't very thick. So you can actually see the brush strokes of the gesso uh, showing through. Like if I go up here. Um, right here, let me, let me, uh, like this spot and this spot, you can see the lines caused by the white gesso underneath. And, um, I just don't want that. I want this to be kind of like more of a beautiful pattern than, than something that looks more sloppy. It feels sloppy. So I'm going to go in for now and just gently... Gently um, add these uh, brush strokes of one color, of one shape, and I'm touching upon areas that I think are kind of like problem areas. And I'm also looking at the overall pattern. What I like to do is, I like to do this a lot. It's kind of subtle, but if I find like one large, where's the, where's the brush? There's one large, larger brush. I like to put a, a smaller color inside that. So it's like, a, like I'm putting layers and layers and uh, it just, I think the effect is kind of nice. Just something I just came up with for no reason. Okay. You know, I am gonna lower this canvas just because I can't. Okay, let's come down. All right. 
Yeah. This is more fun to work on than the than the the water at the bottom. The water at the bottom is just it just bugs me. I don't even want to look at it. It kind of just pisses me off for some reason, which is kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going in here and adding some layers. And like I said before, I like when it's a bit thicker. I like when you can see the edges of paint. Something attractive to me about that. And since I started doing this, I mean yesterday, there's actually um, one or two other paintings. I feel like going back and working on more. Pretty sure I have videos of me doing this. Uh, I think this is one of the first videos I did where I started filming me actually painting it. Um, before I was just doing um, time lapse photography, so I set my DSLR to, to take pictures like every, I don't know, 10 seconds or so, 10, 15 seconds. And uh, I then have to go edit into a movie. And it was kind of neat, you know, I had music to it, whatever. Um, then I decided to try live streaming and it's a hell of a lot less work. Because all I gotta do, I mean, now that I have the, everything set up, um, I have it recording to my hard drive in, in, in higher HD. And then this is live streaming to Facebook in, you know, mid, not even real true HD, just because of Facebook's limitations. But I don't have to edit anything. All I gotta do later is upload it and Doing those time stop videos and adding music and editing and putting titles and all that stuff. I mean, it was taking me hours, even for each one. And, uh, you know, it's not what I want to do. I don't want to do video editing. I want to paint. So I started doing live videos, which is something kind of weird for me because I don't like to be the center of attention. I don't like people watching me. Um, but ironically, this does, it doesn't really feel like anyone's watching me. Anyhow, my point is, um, I then um, wasn't sure if people wanted to even me do live video because it's, it's kind of slow. I mean, if you, you know, some paintings, you know, will take five, six, seven hours, and there's five, six, seven hours of, of watching this. Um, but I did a poll, and apparently, seventy-five percent of the people on the poll that responded, of which I think there were a few hundred. Um, said, yeah, keep doing live streaming because I was about to quit. I was about to just throw in the towel just because it was getting too creepy for me to do this and have total strangers listen to me babble on. But uh, I'm getting used to this live streaming thing. And like I said, it's much more convenient than editing videos. All right. Um, see maybe I'll I think I, I can't sorry if I didn't move the camera I've been doing it a bunch of different places <clears throat> oh one thing that I've been doing that I haven't been mentioning is I've been slowly I, as I do these brush strokes you know and and the, the the, the load on the um, paintbrush becomes thinner, I usually go with a different tone. So I add a, a bit more yellow or green or whatever so that the color is always gonna be varied. Maybe for fun, I'm gonna put down some thicker paint. So to do that, um, it's all about the viscosity of the paint. It's very important that you get, and by viscosity, it just means the, the water content, how, how liquid it is. So um, some paints right out of the tube are perfect. Some paints are a little bit hard. So this one's a little hard, so I just went out and some water. And basically, you're just scooping it. You're just sort of like scooping it, and I often do a very gentle flick at the end to sort of get more paint off of the brush. 
And I don't know if you, the other thing too is I always kind of roll, I always um, am very slowly rolling with my thumb and forefinger so that it's, it's um, rotating the brush. And you, you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out probably. And I'm like, I'm sure every fucking, excuse my French, ever, like, this is nothing revolutionary here. This is just what everyone does. I just felt I'd mention it. So here's some good, here's some good strokes up here, like the way that little bit of paint comes off the edge. And you really notice it um, in the right lighting. Um, so in the right lighting scenario, uh, light will hit the edges of the paint. And there will be a little bit of sparkles. Okay, I think I need some more yellow. Oops. So I'm going to... This is a hard... Uh, for example, this is not a viscous. This is this paint out of the tube is hard. I can't even squish it. So what I got to do is I go dip my brush in some water. And on the palette, I start m massaging it, basically adding wetness to it. And it's still too hard. If you can see that. So I'll get, I'll get one more paintbrush of water and I'll just try different, squishing it different ways, one way or the other. And the problem right now is I know that there's pure yellow inside there, so I have to really keep working at it. And you just feel it with, you just feel it with the brush, right? You just sort of, you develop a, a sense of the touch. And that's pretty close, let's try that. And ironically, I've made this too close to the other paint colors. So I'm gonna add more yellow. Pretty strong, but this is still pretty hard. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm basically hammering it down, mushing it, massaging it. It's a bit like cooking, you know, when you've got ingredients and you want to, you've got to get them homogenous. Just sort of play with it like dough. <clears throat> okay, all right. And then I, I roll my brush to get this excess off and then I'll pick up a little bit. Oh, let's see how this looks. Well, that's not bad. Let's go in with some. Look at that big chunk of paint right there. I'm just going to slap it down here. Blank, bloop, bloop. Come on, come off. There we go. Maybe I'll do some bigger strokes. Why not? So, actually, this painting might take longer to finish than I think I thought it would. Mostly because there's so much stuff I want to do at the on this um, top part. I really want to get more thick, thicker chunks of paint coming through. So this action might take me a little bit of time. Ooh, too thick. Sometimes mistakes are good. Sometimes things you don't tend to, like, like this. I'm just going to leave that. chunks I'm just rolling them off now I'm just like bam bam big chunks of this green yellow thing and I don't know if you notice but there's lots of uh, colors in here there's lots of um, purples uh, there's even some blues and I think I might come back with some more of those. Oh, there's a nice big chunk. That's kind of what I want, that thing. Yeah, I'm starting to not feel very well. Unfortunately, I've got this stupid condition that creeps up on me. And now it's starting to hit me a little bit. I'm starting to feel really... 
Ooh, not good. I can tell because I'm starting to sweat. I think, let me see if my forehead shows it. Yeah, can you see all that sweat there? It's because I've got this goddamn tinnitus, tinnitus, however you pronounce it. Really wish it would go away. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to go lie down for a bit. Let's see if I can fight it off. Whew. Oh man. Fuck. It's really loud. One thing I have found that helps me with this tinnitus is painting. Thank God it helps. But also when I start talking, it kind of distracts me from the noise. So I'm just going to keep on talking. I hope you understand that I'm not just blabbing. And also for sure, I don't like hearing myself talk. I don't feel like I have a need to talk most of the time. But understand that the reason why I do a lot of talking is because it helps reduce the the noise in my brain, the, t the tinnitus, I think it has to do with the focus. I'm less... <sighs> the sound kind of decreases a bit. Okay, so I'm going to go and I am going to... Oh, it's kind of nice. Yeah. I'm going to raise this thing back up. So this is a really nice easel. I love this thing. Nice and sturdy, it can hold probably a hundred or, or more pounds. Okay. Now. Okay. Let's look back a little bit. Yeah, well, oh, it's definitely coming alive. Now. No worries, you have a pleasant voice to listen to. Oh, thanks. Okay, what am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, right, so let's now look, work on the tree. Now, question I have for myself here is what would water reflections be like? Before I had this pattern going this way, and it was just, it was just ugly. It was just not, it just wasn't good. What is this thing? Is this like a bush? What the fuck is this thing? Here, if it's going to be a bush, I think it needs to have like, kind of like a pattern to it, like lines coming up. So it doesn't look like that tree thing at the top. It's not foliage. So I think I'll come in later and add some lines. So if that's the case, maybe there's lines, you know, down here, or whatever, but there's definitely got to be some of this, this color. It comes up to here. Okay, so this is that. But how how am I gonna do this? Because I want there to be. I'm thinking like, a, uh, oops! I need to bring the camera down. I think it'll help if it's more parallel. See, look at that. Already the the, the ringing is, is calmed down a bit. Just a few minutes ago, it was, it was so loud. I almost had to stop. It was kind of like, it literally, it's like someone's screaming in my ear. And it's just like, what the fuck did I do to deserve this? Okay. And now, since I've been nonstop babbling, whew, it's calmed down a little bit. Okay. All right. So, where will we? All right. I'll have to come in here with some browns. All right, and this will be yellows. Okay. The tricky thing about this part is I actually did some of this paint is kind of thick here. So what that means is um, what that means is it might be 
putting thick paint on thick paint, it's going to, it's going to detect the paint, like it'll show up. So it, it's not the best, it's not the ideal situation to have, um, paint over thick paint because you're basically painting over a, like a bumpy surface. I haven't quite decided to, but what to do here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to start painting and green in. Let's do this. Fuck it. Let's do this. Let's get a bigger brush. Oops. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this nice bigger brush and I'm going to start with bigger shapes. Okay. I'm just going to go with bigger shapes. This is where the wet tree is. And then I'm going to come in. And, yeah, that's what I should do. It's going to be a wash. I'll start with a bit more some colors that kind of represent the stuff up there and that they become broken up. And I'm thinking about this from that Terry Crews painting I was doing. I was trying to, you know, figure out how to do reflections without looking at pictures too much, which is kind of stupid. Because, uh, you know, that's not stupid. I like the fact that it kind of, it's, it's more from your mind than it is from, from a, a photograph. I always like that. Okay, so. There's a bit more. Can you see this? I'm just going away. a bit more green. Is that? Oh, I have to be careful about those edges. Look. Oh, I almost fucked up. <gasps> I'm so lucky. I put tape on there. I got green. And that would have been. And this would have been a real pain in the ass to try to fix because this painting's framed. Okay, so I have to chill out. I can't do my normal go nuts thing. I have to be a little bit more careful. Trust me, I, if I have larger paintings and I'm in a painting studio where I don't have to worry about like painting on the floor, I'm like a maniac, man, and that's awesome. It's like you could just go go crazy. And so I'm sure one one day I'll do that again. I'm just referring back when I was about 25. I spent a year just painting and I had this giant empty warehouse space basically. And you could you could literally ride a bike in it and play basketball and, and it was just a wicked thing to do when you're 25 and you're struggling artist with angst <laughs> it was awesome okay so let's let's try some of this okay here's where i have to be really careful just i'm if i go further i could easily paint the insides of the frame i mean i'm going to paint over my signature too because it's so stupid not necessary right now okay okay so that helps a bit okay so I said I wanted to do purples all right so here are some of these purples that I love nice deep rich purples and you know I'm kind of I've always loved it but I recently I've been into the the color palette of Monet's water water lilies which you could just feel them, like the purples and purples and greens right here. Feel that, and then much. I mean, I wanted to make the because I just remember being at a cottage and going for a canoe, and I would look at the color of the water. I'd be mesmerized by the water, and this light blue would often come up, even though. It wasn't reflecting from a color surrounding it. So that's why I tend to do this lighter blue up here is just because of that memory. God, I love being near water and like at a cottage. One of my dreams is to have a cottage, my own cottage, and build a painting studio. Okay. Okay, um, okay, that is ugly. What is this? What can this do for me? It's kind of a weird peach. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Let's just let's just add it in here just to see what it does. You know, like who's to say that you can't? It's not the exact colors, but
I need some more green. I'm out of green. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use the green from the tube. Cheating because uh, I really should be mixing it. I'm gonna take this dark green. Oops, not dark right now, is it? No, nope, not dark enough. It's got too much white loaded up in it. So I'm gonna get a different brush. One very similar. And I'm gonna go take that dark green and I'm just gonna, ah, it's picking up too much white. Oh well, okay. How about this blue? What does that look like? That's kind of nice. Okay. Okay. That's kind of that's definitely nicer, I think. It's not perfect, we're not there yet. So something I mentioned not long ago is if you want, want to create a sense of calm, do lots of horizontal lines if you want. A sense of calm, but more like sense of with awe, you do vertical lines. And if you want to get a sense of movement, you do um, try to do lines at like 45 degrees. So this one is, this is very calm and this is starting to have more movement. So if you look up here, I think I do this unconsciously now, but you know, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. So this is meant to have some fluid movement to it, right? As just something that uh, you pick up. Okay. You know what I need to do? I need to step back and look how this, check out how this thing looks. Okay, so I don't know if I can, so I'm going to go back about 20 feet or so. Okay. Okay, give me a minute here. Way back over here. Oh, I can now that I'm far back. The tree is way too dark on the bottom. No question about it. But so yeah, definitely there's a couple problems, but there's some simple solutions. I think all I need to do. I don't, I think the dark is okay. It just needs streaks of, of light, lighter color through it. So, let me pick up a brush. I'll take this brush here. Okay, so what I need is, because I think with reflections, there's always sharp, dark and lights and as you get closer I think they get smaller I don't know okay. let's just let's just wing this okay yeah so like I think as you the the closer they are to like the horizon the smaller the reflections are I believe and also you know what I'm gonna come at a bit of an angle. Maybe I won't have such horizontal stuff. Let's just let's just do that for a bit. Let's just take some of these lines and make them a bit more at an angle. Let me really brighten this up. Let's try some. I'm gonna get some yellow. A little bit of water. I think I need even lighter than that. Let me just really. We have a bunch of white. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's do this. You know, like why well, not just go like this? Well, oh, the other thing that's cool is is that you break up the lines too. Like the the reflections, you know, would break up. Um, they have a sort of zigzag pattern, right? So let's come down here with some. Let's 
stronger colors in big chunks. Like what about what if I did like this? That's kind of nice. That's beautiful. I like it. Come over here. I know Cheryl likes my sound effects, so there you go, Cheryl. I need to do those. More sound effects. There we go. Big chunk of yellow. And big chunk of white. And I got a feeling this is painting is gonna take much longer. I've got a feeling what I need to really need to do is is take a step back. And by step back I mean um, temporally, not physically. I need to like take a time out and let it sit for maybe a day, maybe, I don't know. Um, possibly. I mean, this, this thing could evolve very, very differently. It's possible. Oh, I don't like that angle going up. That pisses me off. It should come down more. Hmm. It's fun to create stuff. You know? More people should do this. It's good for your soul. I'm just going to step back. It's a little better. It's not, not quite there yet, but it's better. Okay, now here's this yellowy, goopy stuff. This is here. So let's just throw some... Oh, fuck it. Let's just put some yellows down. Kind of yellowy green, but that's good enough to start. So there's some yellows. And those yellows here. Oops. Not quite yellow, it's more green, but that's okay. It's just fun to play with. You can always add different colors after. And really right now. Sorry if my giant stupid head is in the way. Okay, now I want to do some brown stuff. Let's do some work with that brown. And I think I'll kind of do what I did before, which is get a big brush, just sort of wash it off. It looks more like a purple. Here's brown. Gotta be careful of drips. I gotta remember that I'm not. It's not my usual layout where I can just be free and messy. Gotta be a little bit more careful because I've got um, because this thing is framed. Maybe some oranges. The orange is dry. Shit. Here, there's oranges. Okay. Huh. Come on, orange. Here you are. It's kind of more purple now. Yeah, there's some orange. Okay. It's like very reddish right there, isn't it? So let's just go in with that. Okay. This is what I mean when I, I just knew it's going to take longer than just a quick touch up. Because look at that, that horrible dark mess has to be, has to be, has to be um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come in with lighter streaks of smaller brush strokes to um, deal with this space here. Drink. Well, well, well. I'm starting to feel like I, I'm almost ready for a break. There's nowhere near light enough. 
have. So here I will, so I, I don't know if you just noticed, I went and picked this really fine brush, see that? And I'm getting brown and I'm just sort of just drawing my, the very tip of it across. Remember how I said, I'm pretty sure water where it behaves is, it's thinner and it becomes bigger near the bottom. That's what I'm thinking of. And this is kind of funny too. This tree is offset, but that's okay because what I could do is you could sort of like, like smush it a bit. So like that's how how water behaves. It refracts and, and pushes things left and right. So you could sort of just do this kind of stuff, and it'll look okay. All right. Guess what I want is. Um, I'm also, do, what do you think of these rocks? These rocks? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Also, I think right at the edge where the water meets the land, it, it, there's like a dark line there, and I think I need to do that. Hmm. The other thing I really need to be careful, or at least think about, is the, uh, the overall composition has these patterns, and then, you know, I want to think about the composition. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. I think I'm, I'm approaching an hour. I think my internal clock likes, to, likes me to take a break about an hour. An hour of painting seems to be like... It depends on the type of painting. Like, I'm just thinking in the past, I would go for, I could go all day, like, without taking a break. But I think there's something about this thing where I feel I have to talk. It is kind of exhausting. It's, it's definitely more draining because, I, you know, I am not a talkative person in real life. Holy smokes. I'm more than happy just to sit there and be quiet. 99.9% .9 of the time. So I think that must be what it is. It's just that I'm just, I'm, I'm talking and expressing myself verbally, which is just not my natural state. And again, I'm only doing it because it really helps with the tinnitus. Okay, so um, maybe, oops, sorry if I was in the way. There's that, those clouds, so I should count for the clouds somehow, maybe by adding just a lot more white coming through. Let's just do that. Let's just see what happens when there's white just comes right across. Let's try that. Let's bring in some white up here. on my brush right now is actually a little bit of blues and whites just because that's the colors I grabbed and I'm now I'm just having fun now I'm just having some fun I can control my, my tennis right now is at about a four which is really a four out of ten I mean before it was at about an eight point five when it's at, an, at about a nine, I have to basically go curl up in a ball like a like a like a torture victim. <laughs> when before it was yeah, it was about an eight point five for about two minutes. It was about an eight point five, 
and I was just like, fuck this, I gotta go. So right now I'm just chilling at about a four or a three and it feels so so much nicer. Man, it makes you appreciate life. You know, um, when you're in pain, oh, you know what, here's a good example. If you ever get one of those, uh, when you eat something very cold and you get those free brain freezes, and then the relief you get, it goes away so quickly and that relief you feel, that's kind of what it was like just, just a few minutes ago where I just, it just suddenly just, my head was a little quiet and it's just like this relief. Um, the downside is most of the time it's like brain freeze and you kind of get used to it. I guess this is what people with chronic pain have to deal with. Like your, your normal life is no longer, you've, you've reached a new type of normal and you just have to just deal with it, right? Because I have no choice. It also makes me really appreciate how good I have it and how other people have it so much worse. You know, I'm like, I have all of my limbs. <laughs> I have so many good things in my life. And so I'm very appreciative of all the good things I do have. You know what I mean? And I realize when I'm saying this, I'm just talking to myself. I'm just reminding myself. You know, you ever do that? Okay, let's just have another look back. Let's just have another step back and see if there's any more, if we like. Hmm. 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 I know. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? This poor tree didn't get its love. It needs its love, right? So let's just uh, let's add the branches, which you know, water is going to reflect and refract, so it's going to be broken up. Need more white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and add some paint, kind of how I think. Oh, come on, I need a new brush. Because I want this to be very white. And all the other brushes, there's too much fucking other colors there. Okay. There we go. New brush, new dab of white. Comes down about here, 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 look at that. It's gonna be nice, I promise. Something's, something good's gonna come out of this. Be careful, because it's gonna be picking up other. And it's like it comes down about here, so let's just do this. I have no idea if this is right or wrong. But... All right, so I just made up some sort of refraction like Go in and go a little nuts. Let's 
go in and add some happy, happy when we say happy little brush strokes makes me sound like um what's that dude Bob Ross happy little brush strokes now go in and just I let myself go just feel it this is one of those rocking and rolling I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's just, uh, maybe this is a good break time. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a good break time. Hey, Bango. I'm going to borrow some of your stuff. I hope you don't mind. Oh, shit, I'm painting down there. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Bango. I'm going to go steal some of your brush strokes that I like. quite get up there. I'm trying to get up there. Let's throw in a couple of cloud swirls. Now I can tell you those aren't great. They need to be lighter. So I'm going to go in with some lighter paint. Can you see what I'm doing over here? I don't know. And I'm specifically just thinking about all the Van Gogh paintings I love and just letting it flow out and see what happens. Now that's not good. I definitely need to fix that up. Definitely not right. And I know what to do. I'm going to have some, another brush. And I'm going to get some. My brain is telling me I should just stop. Um, but I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to go in and add some whites to thin out the, between them. The curvature isn't quite right yet. What I was going to go for. The thickness is their, their tooth. Well, that's kind of interesting. Kind of softens it up a bit. Yeah, maybe. But down here. Yeah. Yeah, I got I to gotta listen to my heart, which is saying, stop, Josh. Just put down the brush, man. Put it down. And the other part of me, like, I'm almost there. Just give me one more second. Almost there. Oh, look at those big, beautiful white brush strokes. Oh, uh, yeah, see? So who do I listen to? Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. That's looking good. That's looking nice. Not quite finished. Give me one more second, please. Okay. All right. So this is going to be, it's not finished. I need to think about this some more. It's definitely um, different. What? Let me just think about what I'm going to do next. Let me lower it down to the height that you can see it. Okay. It's actually kind of big. I'll go quite far back to. All right, so, hmm, I'm looking at my computer here because I can see the whole thing better. It's like only, it's like this high on my computer. Okay, when I look at it here, all right, so I'm happier with the composition. I think what I need to do is fix up like these marks. I think... This rock stuff, I always felt was a little bit lazy, so I think I might go in and add sparks of yellow and brightness here. And I still, I still think there's work to do here. I still think there's patterns and stuff I want to make flowing. And I think what I want to do is maybe take some of those patterns, bring some a bit more down here, and maybe even in, into the yeah, yeah, even into the water. I think I'm going to bring. This, some patterns down here. So, so what I do is I'm just going to show you. I'll zoom in so you can see the details of what I've done so far, and then I'm taking a break. Okay. So here, 
I would say there's not a ton of noticeable difference. There is to me. Um, so there is some improvements, but it, again, I already liked what was done so far. Um, I just added a couple little scrapes to, this, to the clouds. I'm still going to work on it. But the main thing here was everything below. So all of this was redone to have more like horizontal reflections and to reflect that is which was above is below as they say and to have some kind of um, Monet water lily color scheme going down at the bottom which I'm a big fan of. Uh, so that's what I've got so far. I still need at least one more painting session. But I think that's good enough for now. So thanks for watching.